What's up everyone, welcome to Lima, Peru. Uh, we are here at the start of the Dakar 2018 rally. Uh, I'm working with Mini this year, um, hopefully getting some shots of the cars going through. We've already done some test shots in the desert the other day. Uh, I'm gonna be driving down to Pisco and getting more photography. It's gonna be an amazing experience and uh, hopefully we'll get some good sports shots. By the way, I had a ride in one of the buggies the other day and it was honestly one of the best experiences I've ever had being driven by a pro rally driver was just like insane. Hopefully the buggies will come through soon and um, we'll get some shots and then we're gonna follow them uh, driving into Mini Countryman uh, down about three hours to uh, Pisco. So our cars have arrived. Uh, I'm not sure which one we're gonna have yet. Four so far, five. White one, green one, white one, blue one. Gray one. Uh, so I think we're gonna drive in a little bit of a convoy um, down towards Pisco. Yeah, they're nice and shiny. They're not gonna be like that when we get there. <laughs> Hello. Woo. Well, it's bigger than our boot at home. <laughs> what do we need? Cameras. Feels bigger, like the width of it. Okay, driving the right, driving the right, driving the right. This is like the Italian job. <laughs> All right, so we are pretty close to the highway. Yeah, very close. I need to remember, we overtake on the left. <laughs> Keeping things cozy. 40, is that for the whole thing or? Is that the speed limit all the way? I don't think anyone cares about the speed limit. Oh my god, merging on the other side. Oh my god. Go. Yeah. Woo! Shitting hell. Yeah, what do the horns cozy, mean? Cozy, cozy, cozy. Yeah. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. It's the buses. Like, what are you doing? Right, I ended up in the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you little red spark, what are you doing? Okay, now go around it, on the left, on the left. On, on the right, you on mean? On the right, and overtake, on the right, and overtake. There you go, there you go, there you go. Speed undertaking, up. but. Lines don't mean anything here. <laughs> Gracias. Right, where'd they go, where'd they go? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Where did they go? Oh my god. Where did they go? My boy Blue. So that one's definitely a Cooper S Countryman. Yeah. Behind, I can see an S on the grill. Yeah, I know. Does ours? I don't think so. Okay. which is like a sort of makeshift camping on a mass scale. A little bit like a festival, but it's only here for one night. I'd never actually been in a Mini before. Um, I mean, I'd never actually driven a Mini before. I've been in classic Minis and uh, the new style Mini Coopers, but never in the Countryman. And um, it's a lot bigger. It's pretty comfortable. It can definitely whiz around some of the corners as well. Um, the little convoy we had was... Yeah, we haven't got the sport one, but the convoy we are in Everyone else had the sport one, so we had to try and keep up in amongst the crazy Peruvian traffic, but we did all right and uh, came out good. I think the, the biggest concentration was actually the traffic rather than the car. So this is the X-Ray team. This is what the minis are part of. And this is where we're gonna be camped tonight. Just look at that sun, gorgeous. So as you can tell, it's obviously quite a big setup here. Uh, we've got numerous different trucks, loads of different cars. Let me just explain a little bit about Dakar and what's going on here. So, Dakar Rally has been running for 40 years now. This is the 10th year it's been through South America. And it runs through Peru, Bolivia, and Argentina over like 10 to 15 days, something like that. 
It's completely off-road, it's complete rally, it's a huge petrol head experience, um, but it's super, super cool. And of course, Mini are part of that. They sponsor the X-Ray team um, and they drive a couple of Minis, a few buggies. In total, they got seven cars um, with their pro drivers. So tomorrow morning is when the first real stage happens. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited. Now I know it's getting really dark and the light has pretty much all but gone. So you can barely see me in a minute. Um, but with all the lights that's going on, uh, you can really get some good shots of kind of the details on things and you can like focus in on, you know, what's going on with the cars and whatever it is that car mechanics do. I've got no idea. Do you know what makes everything seem so much more legit? It's just all the logos just plastered across everything. Like, if anything says racing in extreme sports, it's logos everywhere. You want sauces more on the bottom here? This is accommodation for the night. Nice little tent. Yeah, we got some noise to deal with tonight. So we got up at 4 a.m. this morning and uh, pretty sure the guys didn't stop working on the cars last night. I'm not sure how much needs to be done every night. It seems crazy that they had so much to do, but what do I know? So the first cars are just starting to come through and we're trying to find a vantage point of either a jump or if there's like a turn or something. Uh, hopefully that'll have the most activity um, and you can hear. <laughs> Here comes the first car of the day. Damn, that's fast. <laughs> So I've got the drone working, finally, but I've realized it's actually incredibly hard to try and film because they come so fast. And the thing that I'm really struggling with is building up the drone speed before they arrive. Um, I either can't quite get it or I completely miss it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've sort of been uh, somewhat stuck the last 10, 15 minutes or so, um, but it's fine because it, it's the police that are stuck. It's a really narrow path and it's like incredibly soft sand around here. I think it's just going to take a bit of time getting to the next place, which I'm not actually sure where we're going. So we've sort of been sat here now for maybe a good 45 minutes or so. Uh, I also managed to fit a GoPro to the side of the car, which is kind of cool. So the race is pretty much over for the day now. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to make it to the second stop, which is a shame, but that's just how it is. Um, so we're now gonna drive back to Lima, back to the hotel, and uh, end our trip in Peru. So we're now back in Lima. Uh, the trip back was fairly straightforward to be honest until we got to the city then things got a little bit crazy and a bit hectic uh, I switched it into sport mode and it was feeling right like it felt like a go-kart if I'm honest um, in fact when you put it into sport mode it actually says um, for a more go-kart like experience and it definitely felt like that it was really quite quite a fun little toy if I'm honest and yeah we sort of just dropped the car off with the valet guy out the front and uh, he went to park it and um, it all happened a bit quick if I'm honest 
But yeah, so we had an amazing time at the Dakar rally. It was definitely short and sweet. Um, like we were, you know, we've literally only spent like two days there really. If you want to read more about our trip in um, Peru, then uh, check out our blog jellyjourneys.com. We'll have a roundup of some more photos and other stuff uh, going on there. As well as on our Instagram, we'll be posting images and all sorts from the time. So yeah, we're flying out later tonight and uh, we'll be back in London momentarily. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya, bye bye.